All right, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to set up your uh, Red Room Compost Viewer. It's a little three inch thick double pane plexiglass uh, viewer that's made for seeing how compost breaks down, how the worms work in it. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set it up. Uh, these two little nails hold the top on. What we're going to use for bedding is uh, old leaves. We're going to break them up a little bit. And then we're going to layer it with uh, produce, mostly greens, uh, some fruit. The thing with the viewer is if you put too much fruit in, it'll get too wet. And this is a very small system with a little bit of drainage. So you want to make sure that what you put in here is only a, a little bit wet, like lettuce and uh, other greens, and occasionally a few fruit. We'll show you what we got here. We've got some parsley and some Swiss chard. And all the color will make nice layers. The first time you set up this uh, viewer, you want to fill it all the way full before you put your worms in. We got a worm jumping in here. All right. And you want to put in layers while you're filling it up. That's the biggest problem with a lot of worm compost is you don't put enough layers of bedding and what happens is it just gets all mushy at one time and the worms drowned in it. They can't breathe. Cantaloupe. We've got some papaya here. A little bit of sugar. Bring the bacteria in. And some royal lime cherries. A viewer like this takes 50 to 100 worms, about an ounce. Um, really, it doesn't take much at all. And, uh, and you can feed it once a week. I can fill this all the way up to the top, and in a week it's going to be halfway down. They're going to be working on it. The worms crawl around, make space, and it all settles. And as it gets softer, it gets settles even more. Basically, before you finish, you'll probably fill this viewer up about 10 different times. There's some peaches in there. Some cantaloupe. You may look at this again in a week, and you can see how they're doing. Another reason for the bedding is just to soak up all the excess moisture and to provide the air. These leaves are from last fall, about eight months, and they're nice and half composted, nice and crumbly. All right. Now, over here we have a little bit of worms we pulled out of the compost. And here we go. A small handful. That's a good. 50 to 100 worms. And you want to put them in last, basically, so they'll crawl down and see where their new home is. They'll go through all the layers, though most of them will settle at the bottom until they start working. And then in a couple days, you'll see them all crawling up all over in this. It's really nice to view the worms at work. And you'll see other critters climbing around in there. Well, anyway, put both your nails in so you can carry it around without falling apart. 
and then you put in your two black, black plastic sheets. Now this is to keep it dark for your worm, so they'll work throughout the whole thing. And then when it's time to view, you can look at either side. One of the best ways to do it is to look at one side, and when all the worms disappear, open up the other side, and the worms will be over there. All right, you're ready to go. We'll look at it again in a week or so.